deserve to be wealthy. I deserve to be rich. Money is a mindset. Is this bright enough? This is so weird for me because I'm used to a standalone island. And this is a change. Okay, so this morning I went to look at a two bedroom apartment. Um, I just feel like when I got the phone call, I just didn't like the energy of what was happening. I'm just like, y'all yeah, don't even know what well, the lady on the phone, okay, you're new, but get information before you call me back. Oh, well, you can't transfer. First of all, my lease is not up until November next year. She thought it was up this November. I'm like, I just moved over here, ma'am. Well, you're gonna have to pay the rent for this apartment and the new apartment if you wanna move October 1st. Today's September 18th. And I was just like, <laughs> I can pack up this house in two weeks and be gone. You know, most of the stuff is still kind of packed up anyway. Um, it's nothing to just like transfer the shit. I was just gonna call my brothers and get TJ to help me out a little bit. But I can get it done. Oh, my bed. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm not moving. So anyway, it just, I was like, well, ma'am, the transfer fee is only supposed to be like half the rent, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, well, I'm new. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, girl, leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. But anyway, um, I went to, so I guess long story short, especially after looking at their bed. I'm just gonna stay here and make the best out of it and then I'll see what happens by the end of the year or at least by my birthday. If nothing else, um, I decided that I'll just keep this apartment, move out, and probably just Airbnb it or something. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna sit my ass down for a little bit. Cause I'm like, by the time I pay damn near $1,000, no, it'll be, yeah, roughly about 1000 to transfer, just for the transfer fee, then I'll probably have to get some movers if push comes to shove i'm trying to go out the country with my bestie for her birthday okay she wants to go to freaking italy and i'm just like i want to come i got decisions to make well not i have decisions to make i feel like my mind is made up i'm just gonna sit here clear this shit out make the best out of it and sit my ass down period but i went to the african mark get i got some meat pies Oh, this is a beef beef roll. I've showed y'all some of these before. On a previous video. Am I close enough? Do y'all feel close to me? I wanted y'all to still be able to see the counter. I got some dishes in the sink. I need to close the dishwasher. It's just a few items. But I just hope this angle, I mean, it might kind of be weird. But whatever. It just is what it is right now. But anyway, that's a beef roll. This is a meat pie. It's, our dough is thicker than like the Jamaican patties. And we use like, I'm saying we, like I be making them. But it's like ground meat on the inside. With like some spices. Oh, just delicious. One of the main reasons I went was for these turkey wings. I don't know what they see these turkey wings with. But it's literally like a whole turkey wing. And the spices, just wonderful. So I decided to get, um, haven't had any in a while. I know that's gonna have my ass on fire, but some catfish pepper soup. If I remember, I'll probably just zoom in or get up close um, shot for y'all. wrong for that. They put a little ass piece of catfish in here. Whatever. And then, I was just like, let me just get some food for the rest of the week. I eat off of this at least twice. It's some opera soup. It has the pufu or the pound of yam as y'all call it. Well, people call it too. That's the other name. Then I got some okra soup. Yeah, I definitely have to give y'all a little close. I feel like I'm so far away. So it's the okra soup. I like um, wasobia because here in Houston, 
I don't know if they're anywhere else. But like their food to me is like the most authentic um, tasting flavor as far as, you know, I don't like their goosey soup. Their goosey soup, I don't know, just be too gritty. I'm like, a goosey soup, grind that shit down all the way, make it real smooth. I don't want to be tasting like the balls of the, of the grain grinded up a goosey. So that's what I really don't care for. I went ahead and got some red stew because I be buying a little tiny tub. Let me see. Like this tub is like $8, right? So I was like, I can just, I can just pay a few extra dollars. I mean, it was like $15. Uh-oh. It was like $15 for the stew and then you get rice with it. You get some white rice versus $8 plus like $10. Eight, I mean $8 plus I think like the rice is $2.99 or something if you get it with that tub. So yeah, this is a better deal, most definitely. Let me put this back in the bag. That's what I got from the African market. My camera keeps like blurring in and out. So strange. <laughs> never done that before. Okay, now the moment we have been waiting for. Y'all have been hearing me talk about my camera. My camera, my camera, my camera. How y'all have this camera, the one y'all are looking at me from for about almost five years at this point. When um, I first started YouTube. That was like, like 2012, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, by 2018 or so. So this is my individual channel. Um, I mentioned in previous videos, uh, my ex and I had started a network together, but it was um, like different types of videos. I was doing like hair videos for the salon, ASMR videos, just all types of stuff. And then I just got to the point where I was like, you know what, I wanna do my own videos. And she was just like, well, if you wanna do your own videos and you want the channel to just be about you, you're gonna have to get your own channel. Say less. So I've had this channel for about, I don't know. I don't know when I started this channel, but it's been a couple months now. And oh my gosh, like the growth is just so awesome. I'm getting more consistent like I wanted to. And like I said in the previous video, I was just like, I just don't want anything holding me back. You know, oh, my camera broke. And like I wanna do different types of content and just feel free to do whatever the fuck I wanna do and not have to worry about nothing and not have to be worried about being embarrassed because my camera broke. I got the Sony, is it Sony? This was recommended, Sony A6100. And it was like a bundle deal from Amazon so the box was partially open because y'all been carrying this box around for two days. I took it to TJ's house thinking I was gonna do my unboxing there. So today she was like, did you do your uh, unboxing? I was like, no. She was like, damn, you were so excited about it. It's like, now you don't even care. I was like, yeah, I was just kind of tired. I, I just wanted to make sure I had the right energy. Cause baby, I was tired yesterday. I was beat, okay? But I tried to open the box to peek and see how they boxed the shit up together. I was hoping everything was in one thing, but it's not. This is how they sent it. So it's like pieces. Oh, I like this little bubble thing. Oh, I'm gonna save this to package some of my orders. Okay, so it's like a whole bundle deal. This is how it comes. I just feel like y'all didn't secure this enough. So it's the Sony A6100. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, y'all. Y'all understand, like it's been such a long time coming. Whew. I was like, let me just go ahead and bite the bullet. Go ahead and get it. I have 128 disk memory. 128, 128. Okay, I don't know, I'll just have this just in case. But I've been using my, mm, what was it, 254 gig? I have like two or three of them now. It comes with a cute little bag, but I have a bag, well not a bag, I have like a case in my cart right now on Amazon because who wants to carry this around all the time? Of course there'll be a time for this, but then um, any, if nothing else, I wanna have like a more compact case to fit just the camera and like the battery so I can like throw it in my purse if I have a tote or something instead of carrying this around. 
Now, I might find like a cute little backpack or something um, to put it in, but this will probably just be for travel purposes. And it comes with a tripod, a 12 inch flexible tripod with the um, bendable legs. This is what it looks like. And then it comes with a UV filter, circular polarized filter and a fluorescent filter. So different, three different um, lens covers. UV lens protection filter. Not sure what that is. And then it comes with a battery. But then it says Sony NPF something 50. Let me see. Let's see what this is. And the question is, can I open this with my nails? Okay, I can. So baby, if I wasn't paying attention or being extra impatient, oh, it comes with two batteries. I would've gotten the scissors and cut the box. It comes with two batteries, the charging base, and the plug. Well, let's just go ahead and um, open her up. Yeah, I'm so excited. So the bundle, like I said, it's on Amazon. I saw one that was like almost a thousand-ish, but when I read it, it was like refurbished. I was like, no thank you. Give me a brand new. So I think this one was like, before tax, was like 750. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. And then I have a cover that I have in my, um cart on Amazon that's pink. I was like, is that too much? Ooh, this is a big ass camera. Ooh, ooh, it feels so hefty. Oh shit. It's so like heavy duty. Like my other one is, so I have the Canon G7X, which is what a lot of YouTubers started off with. I know, like I said, four or five years ago, there's been new cameras that have come out, but that was one of like the popular cameras at the time. Go great vlogging cameras. It still is though. Like the quality is still great. After all this time, the only problem I've been having is that I scratched up the lens a little bit. So this has a lens cover because that one, it just has like a shutter that like covers it, but if you could easily just open it. So I guess like when I put it in my purse and stuff, um, ah! When I put it in my purse, it will get scratched up. Oh, it has the lens cover. Oh my God, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take such good care of you. Like it's the, it's, it's this for me. It makes me feel so official. All right, let's see what these batteries looking like if they're charged or not so I can turn it on. <sighs> Y'all can cry right now. Y'all don't understand, like I can literally Oh, uh-uh, wait. I could literally cry right now. Leave it to me to mess something up every time. I text my nail tech. I was like, girl, please, can I come in on Saturday? I need to get these nails cut down because I have to braid on Saturday and it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh my God. Okay, memory card goes in here. About ah, to turn it on. Uh uh. uh. Mm -mm. No, we ain't got time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wait, you don't just press it? Uh-uh, listen, what's the problem? Look, the things I don't have time for. Of course, it doesn't come with a charging base. Like, why they do that? Like, why?
I need a USB. Do I have a charging port? No problem. Plug it right into the wall. Why not? It's probably not charged up. Oh, I got 4K. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to watch some, um, Oh, what am I doing? I'm tripping. <laughs> Where did I get this from? Oh, it comes with one battery. I thought it was two batteries. I'm like, am I tripping? Okay, so it does have its own um, port. I was gonna say, cause Apple be tripping. Hey, you pay $1,300 for a damn, um, what you call it? A phone, and they don't give you a charger. Oh, the screen. <laughs> oh, baby. Y'all stop playing with me. Cause I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this? Because this one, the screen flips literally all the way up on top of the camera. So I'm just like, why is the screen hidden? I was like, okay, well, does it go down and then come under or something? Cause that'd be cool. No, it comes. Okay. I guess that'll do. There's a gap in between, like right here. Okay, where is the plug? How do we charge it? I like the grip. I like how it has the grip here. Cause that camera, I'm not sure where like the speaker is. So one time I was filming and I had the freaking speaker covered the whole time. So this one, it has a hefty grip right here on the side. I love that. It's rigid. See, this is where instruction manuals come in, but I be the one that want to just figure this shit out. Oh my God. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Let's see. Now we need to start with the basics. Charging. Preparation, da, 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 da. open, insert the battery, memory card, okay. Connect the camera with the battery pack inserted to AC adapter. So, let me put this down, down, okay. No, that don't seem right either. Where? Okay. Connect the camera with the battery pack inserted to the AC adapter supply using the micro USB cable and connect the AC adapter to the wall outlet. Wrong side. <laughs> Found it. I'm like, what the? So it's over here on the side over here, on this side. Okay, so I said turn it off, because if it's on, it's not gonna charge. Now, which hole is it? Oh, I like this. I don't have to worry about carrying a charger, because I literally, even like for the GoPro, I have to carry the chargers and stuff. So the camera itself just charges. But I'm definitely, oh, I got two extra batteries right here. So they come with the, on the go charging um, thingies. Let's see, will it come on? I don't know how to turn this on. All right, well I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit, but that's pretty much what I want to come on here and do. Show y'all my new camera, y'all were so excited. So let me go ahead and order the rest of my cart because I just wanted to make sure everything was good with the camera and I liked it and I was gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. New camera, who it is? And then I can start filming, like, I, I'm actually thinking that I want to um, start another channel strictly for the hair page, because initially this channel is was what it was supposed to be for the salon page. 
but I was like, let me just go ahead and transform it into, cause I hadn't posted in like five years on the channel, literally. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and utilize this page since I had maybe three videos up already that had some attention and I already had some subscribers. Um, if you're out there, thank you for still sticking around. I'm thinking out, I wanna start doing, you know, hair tutorials and all that type of stuff again, cause I miss doing stuff like that. And now I'm pretty much on my own when it comes to editing. I've been editing everything by myself because at first, my ex was doing all the editing. That was another thing that was keeping my videos kind of um, behind because, you know, time, doing other things. So now I, I'm here, you know, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm gonna pour me some wine. I was just watching a video and um, I think her name is Brittany Jones. Hey Brittany girl. She was talking about this XXL wine and me and TJ had just tried it. A couple weeks, maybe about, was it last week? Yeah, I think it was last week. But I got the strawberry and grape flavor. Plump red strawberries combined to create a decadent, right, sweet experience. TJ was like, she's been hearing about it, so we ended up getting it when we went to get some groceries at HEB. So let's go ahead and cheers. I should not be drinking this. I'm supposed to be going to Target. I gotta go to Target. So my old couch, y'all, I put it outside. And when I went, when the lady called me back, she was like, yeah, the manager, first of all, how did y'all know about the couch and why y'all ain't said shit? Cause it's been out there for two days. Um, yeah, the manager said that you need to move the couch. If not, we're gonna have to charge $250 to your account. I'm like, okay, but y'all don't tell me, I, where, where the fuck am I supposed to haul a couch to? The guy actually said, he was like, oh yeah, you gotta take it to the other building. Little old me, you want me to haul a whole couch? So my plan is to, I put it up on Facebook Marketplace real quick just to see if anybody wants it. Like, come get it. So we'll see. I'ma wait till maybe around midnight or something. And then I'ma take it out. But anyway, and cheers to new beginnings. Um, overcoming obstacles, overcoming fears, taking that big leap of faith. I don't know for you if it's a new job, a move, um, a decision with your kids, your marriage, your relationship, whatever the case may be. Look baby, don't be scared, everything will work out. I've been telling my clients, she was like, you rubbed off, rubbed off on me. I think her and her fiance had just uh, split up, but she was just like, it was time. You know, sometimes we stay comfortable, we for, well, I mean, we st yeah, we stay in relationships and situations because we're comfortable. We stay, you know, for certain perks and all that type of stuff for companionship, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Like, apart from my house being still, still being somewhat of a mess, like I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. I feel more motivated. I feel clear. I feel like, you know, cause I was, it was just, Without me realizing, it was just kind of like a like a a film. I don't want to say cloud because that sounds heavy, but there was definitely something there to where I just couldn't push through. I couldn't achieve. I'm not gonna say my fullest potential, but just I just something just kept me so stagnant. And ever since I've been, um, ever since the relationship ended, I'm just like, who are you? Girl, what are you doing? Like, who are you? Even like dressing up to take pictures. But anyway, I know I just got to ramble like chairs to y'all. Whatever you're going through, whatever you got going on, just sometimes you just gotta just take that leap of faith. Just make that decision. Close your eyes. If you wanna make that purchase, make sure you're gonna afford it. And if it's okay, it's still comfortable. Don't go doing no irresponsible shit, okay? If you gotta affirm it, go ahead and affirm it. Cardo, whatever. <laughs> but. Go ahead and do what makes you feel good. Go ahead and do what makes you feel happy. What makes you feel content. What fulfills you. We're in the era of living for us, taking care of ourselves. Not saying you gotta neglect everything else, but you have to take care, of, like how can you take care of other people, if you, especially your children, if you don't take care of yourself? You know, I see a lot of clients running themselves to the ground, um, trying to do this, busting ass, you know, going to work, this, that, and the other. Just take a deep breath, sit back, put your feet up every once in a while, you know, at least once a week, take a day out the week, two days out the month or something like that. Do something for yourself, book that massage, book that um, love, we can't get away, whatever. Just eat, just getting out of, one thing I've noticed, getting out of your norm, even if it's a staycation, book that hotel, that luxury hotel, go, go lay down for a night, go to the pool and enjoy all the amenities, whatever. But like just getting out of your norm, it kind of helps you recalibrate. It helps you breathe. You're able to, you know, gives you a little bit of clarity. Of course, the longer the better. I like a good weekend. But my point is, take care of yourself. We gotta take care of ourselves. We gotta, we gotta take care of ourselves. 
So, chess and new beginnings, new decisions, um, new changes. I know change can be scary. Look at me, <laughs> 10 and a half years later, out of a relationship. Um, but yeah, cheers to y'all and whatever you know your heart desires are. I hope you get everything that you want, everything you desire. But we got we turning up for the end of this year. I smelled the wine. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, this wine was so strong. And it had me like <laughs> it had me all touchy feely. <laughs> is all I'm gonna say. TJ was like, what is wrong with you? I was like, I don't know, the wine did something to me. But this wine is strong. It's 16% um volume, alcohol volume. Ugh. Feel the burn. <coughs> okay, I'm done because I'm not about to be stuck in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, thank you guys for the continued love, the continued support. Like, I truly appreciate y'all. Like, you guys are so freaking awesome. Um, thank you for just all love. Like, I just feel, I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. I feel like I'm, I made the right choice um, when it comes to, first of all, branching out on my own. I'm an independent bitch. Like, I mean, yeah, I felt so grown when I, um, I got my own Prime account. I was like, because I used to send, I used to send my, here go this link. Go, can you buy this? Can you buy this? Can you buy this? Can you? I got my own shit, okay? I don't have to text nobody, ask for no call when I go to Whole Foods. I can go on my app and pull it up myself. Like, it's, it feels good. It feels good. But anyway, I'll keep y'all posted, okay? Just make sure y'all stay tuned on my journey. And welcome to my family. Thank you for being here. I love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs>